You missed our introduction of shading agent if you haven't seen our first video. You will not understand what this video is about and you will not understand why we are having so much fun with our white powder. The first half of this video ended when I mentioned that the quality of your hatching up to this point is not too important. I also promised that it's going to be more complicated and in this video we will keep our promise. And if I'm satisfied with what will become the first blended layers, shading agent enters the scene. I use one of those tin boxes we put into the starter packs, just find them handy. With the tip of one of the paint knives we prepared earlier, I put small amounts of shading agent directly to the drawing surface. What you see on the left lady's chin, the white powder, that's shading agent and what I put there was far too much. Normally I use far smaller amounts. How much it is, I uh, will show you here. Oh, that looks far better. That's what we normally need. Well, it was very late at night and mess happens. Now, whether you use uh, the right amount of shading agent or just a little too much, don't fall for the urge to start with your work in the darkest, deepest spots. The right place to begin the shading is in the future blending zones of light and shadow. Start with a small circular movement here and enlarge the circles gradually. When you see the first results, that's pretty much right away, seamlessly move your tool along the shading zone. Try to follow your object's curves in space, modeling the pigments, that means the shadows, in shape. Actually, with the help of shading agent, drawing very much meets painting here. The shading technique is not too different from painting with a translucent, slow, liquid paint. Don't worry, this is far easier to do than to explain. You will agree once you made your first experiments. The use of shading agent compared to other blending techniques has the advantage that the result remains erasable. You know how valuable that is. In the following time-lapse clip you will see how I get the first depth and refinement layer done. The clip is about 17 times original speed. of shading agent using monochrome colored pencils instead of graphite becomes a real option. Graphite may look easier to work with at first, but a graphite layer on your paper is far less stable than colored pencils pigments are. Besides that, the pigments in colored pencils won't reflect, while graphite covers your paper with loads of little mirrors.
The pencils with the blue shaft, by the way, are the predecessors to the Albrecht Dürer line by Faber. They went by the name of Goldfaber and I uh, still have a couple of dozens of them. We will finish this video with another time lapse. If you visit our channel here on YouTube, you can find the entire drawing process for this image sandwiched down to some 10 minutes or so. Also, don't forget to give our website a check. We put the main information from this video into a printable file just in case you want something to carry with you. You can also download the full HD version of these two clips. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Shading Agent Tools, Tips and Tricks. Thanks for watching.